Hey, Mike. Hey. Welcome to DC. Thank you. Just what has it been the past you know, few weeks, months been like as you get acclimated to a new organization? Uh, it's been really fun for me. I've been here in DC for the past month or so. And um, yeah, just been hooping with the fellas and uh, just getting to know the city. Uh, it's been really fun. My dad's out here right now. We've been hanging out, um, going to some museums, some memorials, and uh, really just walking around, trying to learn the history you know, more and um, just soak it all in. As a kind of, you know, throwback random question, I guess, you know, you were on those Hawks teams that battled against uh, the Wizards, you know, in the playoffs a lot. Just, you know, what are your memories of back then, and is it kind of weird now to be on this side? I remember uh, I called bank. That's what Paul said, Paul Pierce said, right? <laughs> um, yeah, no, there were some some good times, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that was, that was, I mean, I was young in my career then, so it was uh, so naive to some things, but... Um, just remember good energy and just fun playoff basketball. So uh, I always had great memories of the city um, coming here throughout my career. I always enjoyed being a visiting team here. So uh, I'm just grateful to be able to, to experience more of it. Last one for me. Obviously, they you know have a lot of minutes to be played at the five. Where do you think you can come in with your game and be complimentary to the rest of the guys, uh, one through four? Yeah, I mean, I just... Um, just, you know, try to get the offense moving, you know, get the different actions, um, you know, setting screens, uh, DHOs, you know, popping, rolling, um, and just trying to be vocal, you know, just trying to get guys involved. Uh, I think that's when basketball is the most fun, you know, when everyone's out there being creative and, and uh, looking out for each other. So that's my goal for the season. Hi, Mike. Welcome hey. to D.C. Thank you. Um, what do you think about the shooting on this roster and perhaps, uh, you know, specifically with you and, and Gallinari at the big man spot? No, I think the shooting is strong on this roster. Um, you know, you said me and Gallo, but uh, Jordan Poole, um, Kuzma, uh, those guys stand out to me too. Um, and, um, you know, even some of the young fellows, Pat Baldwin, uh, Ryan Rollins, they shot it well so far. So um, Landry, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of guys. Yeah, it's going to be a strength of our team for sure. If you had to compare your younger team, I mean, your teams that from the earlier years, maybe like a Oklahoma City, and the younger teams that you had, uh, what would be the the um, comparisons that from this team to the previous teams? Um, I haven't thought about that too much, but um, this team is young, but it's not as young. You know, those Thunder teams were I think the youngest in NBA history for two years in a row. So, if I remember correctly, there are um, some more some older, obviously older players on this team. Um, but I'm really liking what I see out of the young players um, so far. You know, last month I thought they all looked really good and um, just just good guys, uh, versatile players, competitive. So uh, it'll be fun to, to be on this journey with them this season. Of all, of all the people here, you might know Will Dawkins the best <laughs> uh, from your time with the Thunder. What is he like and what do you see him bringing in his role here? Yeah, you know, great sense of awareness. Um, you know, just a great eye for the game and um, always around, you know, just getting to know people and, um, you know, just in the gym uh, with the team. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him. It's a great opportunity for him, well-deserved. And, uh, yeah, we had some good times in Oklahoma City for sure. Um, but, you know, both excited to be here right now. In what ways have he and, and Michael Winger communicated their vision for this season and the seasons beyond that? Just being in the moment, being present right now, you know, there's um, just every day, there's so much opportunity, especially in the off season, but in the, once you get in the season, just for improvement individually. And I think that, um, you know, they've just stressed to have that approach, you know, and things will take care of them for themselves. We're players, so at the end of the day, we got to do our jobs and um, come in ready to play, keep improving our games and find ways to, to, um, to get wins and to, to, to gel well together as players. So that's what we're focused on. What should the Wizards fans expect from what you're going to bring to the table this season? Uh, somebody who just loves the game, um, brings energy consistently, is a good teammate, um, loves to win, and um, you know, someone who just wants to be you know, a part of um, the city on and off the court, you know, that's a big thing for me. Just really trying to, like I said, just experience as much as I can while I'm here. And tactically, what will that look like on the floor with this squad? Um, yeah, just, uh, you know, 
being able to shoot the ball as a big, you know, but also being able to mix in rolling and, um, you know, being a good communicator, getting the ball moving, you know, um, in different actions. Um, you know, I just love to watch film and, and just find ways to, you know, to be creative offensively. Um, and then, you know, defensively, just, uh, like I said, trying to be a good communicator and make sure that transition defense, uh, you know, that's always a big thing for teams, um, you know, is trying to limit transition buckets. So, you know, the more we can take care of the ball and limit, you know, the the leakage that can that can be created, you know, through a lot of um, buckets by the other team in transition, you know, I always just try to try to be, get back quick and anchor the defense in that sense. What memorials, museums have stuck out so far for you? The American History Museum, for sure. Uh, especially the the section with all the wars and the battles, you know, that this country has gone through. Um, it was very powerful, so I'd like to go back. But, uh, yeah, it was really, really fun. I want to go to the Spy Museum next, I think. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, y'all. Thanks. Thanks.